Good evening. I receive. I've been receiving some emails from subscribers asking if it's uh, possible to install, okay, the new Microsoft Office 2013 on a computer that it already has Microsoft Office 2010. Okay, I received a couple of emails and the answer is yes. If you guys already have your Microsoft Office 2010 version installed on your computer and you guys want to upgrade to the 2013 version, yes, you call um, keyboard copies installed on your computer. Okay, normally you guys just follow the prompts. Uh, what is going to happen is that the wizard, the installation wizard, will uninstall your older version of Office 2010. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and run the setup here. Okay, this is a 2013. Remember that I already have installed the 2010 version. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and follow the wizard. Okay. So I'm going to accept the terms of this agreement, click on continue, and this is very important, okay? This is very important because right here is asking me, upgrade, if I choose this option, see, Microsoft is going to uninstall my older version of Microsoft Office. So don't do the upgrade, okay? It will be customized. Once you guys click on customize, we will have these three options, okay? Uh, remove all previous versions of Microsoft, keep all versions, all previous versions, or remove only the following applications. Okay, in this case, okay, for this video tutorial, I'm gonna select that op option, keep all previous versions, because I still wanna keep, see, the Microsoft Office 2010, and I also wanna have the new Office 2013 installed on my computer. Okay, so once we click into that, keep all version, previous versions, all we need to do is just click on install now. The installation process will begin and we're just gonna wait. Okay, should take about a couple of minutes. After those couple of minutes, we will continue the wizard. Okay, so here we go. Uh, the installation is almost done okay so the installation has been done okay thank you for installing Microsoft Office etc 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 okay now if I click on continue and in order to complete setup the system was necessary would you like to reboot now no okay so just remember every time that we install a new software the computer is always gonna be asking that you need to restart your computer Okay, now I'm just gonna go into my start screen. I'm using Windows 7 on this computer. Okay, and I'm gonna go to my File Explorer and there is Microsoft Office 2013. Okay, and the whole version was installed. Okay, and let me just go ahead and open one of these files. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open up. Microsoft Office Word, welcome to your new office. Next, there's a small wizard. Welcome to your modern office. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and close that wizard. And here you are. Okay, so from here I could just go ahead and start working and start using my new okay, software to Office 2013 and Okay, and I get to keep also. my Microsoft Office 2010 okay just remember every time that we install a new software the new sof software is gonna become your default program so right now when I click into the Microsoft Office Word see it's just reconfiguring the prof Microsoft Office Professional Plus 2010 okay once that is done then it's just gonna open my Word document Okay, and here it is. Okay, my still have my Microsoft Office 2010. And in the back, 
I have my new Microsoft Office 2013. Okay, there's um, there's no more change. Okay, but uh, we will in another tutorial we will see uh, the different. I mean the new interface or the new items that Microsoft Office adding to the 2013 version. Okay, well, thank you for watching and if you guys have any requests, please remember, send me an email, usainstructor2 at live.com. Okay, if you guys want to see a video or something, just remember, email me and I will create a new tutorial. Thank you and you guys have a great day. Bye bye.